Good afternoon, everyone. This is Prem with Bitcoin Magazine. I'm here in front of the Burj Khalifa um, talking to a very, very nice project. The project is called the Government Network. And with me today, I have Jens Liebens, who is part of the project. Jens, welcome to Dubai. Thank you, Prem. Um, Jens, I heard so much about the Government Network. Could you tell me something about the project? Of course, Prem. So the Government Network is building a borderless nation uh, that is going to be powered by blockchain technology, operating on a decentralized autonomous organization. And what we are doing is we are creating a governance framework that is looking to empower anybody in the world and that anybody can tap into irrespective of where they are born. All right. So, I mean, this is going to be truly borderless. And um, if you if you look at basically a, a continent like Africa, um, people are really struggling out of there to do international business. Uh, is this something your project is going to be uh, uh, enhancing? Exactly. We already have a partnership with the Global African Business Club and together with them we are developing a business framework for African companies to come on and through decentralized uh, identities, um, companies and businessmen will be able to prove their trustworthiness. At the same time, we want to offer a financial framework which is now not present in many of these countries and uh, then integrate that full thing into our ecosystem. So um, we really are focused on getting drivers in place and uh, Africa is one of the places where we will start. All right, awesome. Um, you guys are now, uh, if I understood correctly, uh, are in a crowd sale. Um, could you tell us uh, till when this will last and what your um, roadmap is after this? Of course. So our crowd sale is going to last until the end of November. And then from um, March till July, we will hold, hold a constitutional convention. During this convention, uh, together with the whole team of experts, uh, we will put together the uh, governance rules for the DAO and also for the government to operate on. Uh, at the same time, we want to launch our first drivers for the ecosystem, which we expect to be around May. And then the alpha of the actual DAO uh, that we, we expect to launch uh, end of the summer, end of next summer. Obviously. All, right. All right. So that's, you know, you guys are really planned up basically to to getting this done. Um, uh, before, uh, I, I would like to ask also, could you um, tell about other team members uh, which, which are part of your project? Of course. So on one side, our visionary lead, which is also our CTO, is uh, Michael Kalsa. Michael uh, is an extremely intelligent person. He's uh, 60 years old. He's been uh, coding for the last 40 years and uh, he's worked on a whole variety of projects. At the same time, he uh, has lived all over the world, so he's perfect for this position and understands very well um, all the nuances of different cultures and economies. Um, at the same time, you also have uh, Mr. Washington Capapiro. Uh, he is the founder of the Global African Business Club and uh, chairman of a whole range of businesses and also our head of expansion and development. Um, so those are, we are the, the core team, let's say, and then we are obviously supported by a whole bunch of other talented people. Um, one of our key advisors there's also Ephraim Wyatt, who uh, was one of the founding directors for Blockchain for Impact at the United Nations and is now uh, still working very hard to promote the social development goals of the United Nations. All right. So uh, that's really awesome to have such a team basically backing you up. Um, uh, what is basically the best way to get in touch with the project and yourself? On our website, all our contact details can be found. Um, I'm very reachable. If you just find me on Telegram, Jens underscore Levens, you will have an answer within 24 hours. All right, awesome. Jens, I wish you all the best with the project and I hope to speak to you soon again. Thank you, Prem.